Hello YouTube, it's Mr. Tech Guy one here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, Windows 7 on your Mac with a virtual machine. Now, about a week and a half ago I think I posted um, how to install Windows in Boot Camp and um, people may ask or have been asking me what's, what's really the difference um, between the two. Now, the thing with Boot Camp is that it's an actual partition on your hard drive. Um, so like you can you have to reboot but then you can it's natively windows however a virtual machine is kind of like it's virtual so you're still in the mac os but you you can still run an operating system but it's not actually on your hard drive as such in the same way as boot camp but anyway this is a good fast thing to do if you can't be bothered to reboot or anything so the program we're going to be using today is the shareware parallel utilities so obviously you have to buy this um, but I will probably will be doing a video um, where I will install it on VirtualBox as well which is a free open source version but anyway um, I'll put the link to parallels in the description so once you've installed it just launch it from wherever and it's very simplified in like letting you make a virtual machine so it just comes up with this fit window I'm gonna click, gonna click the plus icon sorry and then we're gonna either migrate windows from a PC or we're just gonna install windows which is what we're going to do make sure you put in your DVD um, into the drive I already have mine it's here so choose wherever you want or where the DVD drive is or if you have an ISO of windows then you can also use that Let's click continue Now it will ask you for the product key. Now, um, because obviously I'm recording this, I'm not going to type in my product key. So I'm going to do that once Windows is installed. So how do you want your Windows programs to work? So you've either got like a Mac or like a PC. So basically like a PC has the Windows desktop um, and programs in one window, whereas like a Mac it has no desktop, it's designed to look like it's part of the Mac interface but I'm going to keep it like a PC because I'm, I don't really like that one so name, Windows 7, all that yep, customize settings because we might want to change the RAM or everything and it's just going to create your virtual machine so the name obviously Windows 7 and then you can select the type but that should be correct anyway now memory, you might want to increase it from 1 gigabytes. I have 8. Obviously this is only 32 bits, we won't accept more than 4. So I'm going to put it to 3 gigabytes. Options. Um, so like, I would turn on faster virtual machine. I'm not sure what that is. Um, backup, you can backup um, with time machine if you really want to, but I'm not going to bother. Um, and that's basically it really. And then hardware, you can change any of these if you want. I'm going to leave it as default. Okay. And then we're going to click continue. And what's it going to do now is it's going to load off the CD and it's going to install. Now this window here, it won't be permanent. It's just while it's installing Windows, it will um, load the screen. So I guess this is going to take a couple of minutes. So I'll come back when the install screen is um, up. Okay, so the um, all the starting windows all popped up and all that, but um, now it says select the operating system that you want to install. So, because this is a Windows 7 Ultimate Disk, I guess it's giving me all the different ones, but I'm just going to click Ultimate anyway. I'm going to click Next, and it's just basically just going to install the files like that. Um, cause Parallel simplifies the installation process. Um, you don't need to go through all the... Um, all the kind of partition in the hard drive and all that. So again, I'll come back when this is all is finished. Cause this will take up to 20 minutes to half an hour. Okay, so I think now this is the point where it's finished installation um, and it's just restarted the virtual machine. We see the Windows logo. Um, obviously, I'm going to say in advance that for things like Wi-Fi, and other things to work. You might need to install Parallels tools, but I'll go over that with you as well. So uh, you won't need to worry about things like that. <clears throat> it's just gonna 
update our registry settings, just do the normal stuff uh, like it does when it installs. And I'll get back to you. Okay, so it's restarted yet again. I'm hoping now that this is the last time. It should, I think it should re um, restart two times, but I think, I'm not, I'm not that sure. But um, it took for me about 15 minutes to install, 20 minutes, it was it was pretty quick actually. Uh, in fact, it took longer to get from 0 to 1 than 1 to 10, which is pretty weird. But um doesn't matter. So it's going to prepare my computer for first use. And it's going to do things like checking the video performance, like that. And it's going to do some other stuff that's just going to determine whether I can run Windows Aero or not. Um, your Mac should run Windows Aero by default, but um, if it doesn't, you probably have to install Parallel Tools. Um, I think you install Parallel Tools by... Um, oh, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. But, um, yep, it's just logged me in to um, Windows. So obviously now we don't want this box anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of the Parallels Wizard once this is finished, and we're just going to re relaunch um, Windows. Yeah, it's just it's just going to prepare the desktop a bit, and then I'm going to finish. Okay, so it looks like it's actually installing Parallels itself. So. You should get something like this, where it's just installing parallels. Um, but basically, all this does is it enables things like Wi-Fi or the bridge networks, your Max airport um, connection, things like Bluetooth, trackpad drivers, and all that should work. Um, as well as um, shared folders and stuff like that uh, should work a bit better. Um, but we're just waiting for this. Now to install, it's going to probably take a while, I think. So, you know, it'll, it'll probably finish that. So, um, yeah, Parallels installed, and then um, it got rid of the Parallels wizard as well. Um, here's a tip if you're running Line and you want to make it full screen, it's just exactly the same as the other apps. You just click this, and it should transfer it to another window. However, we're going to need to reboot the system. Um, just going to have to reboot to uh, complete the installation of Parallels. Um, the actual performance inside um, virtual machines is pretty much alright, depending on how much RAM you assign to it. Obviously, you're not going to be able to play um, like a full game in there or something. I don't know why it's loading the Vista logo. It's weird. Um, obviously you're not going to be able to play like <laughs> like the latest games and all that, but you'll definitely be able to do some basic Windows things inside of the um, inside of the VM. But that was very weird actually. It loaded the Vista logo when it was Windows Seven. Hmm, I don't know. It's kind of just weird. Anyway, we click. Um, full screen and you can see that the, it's stretched a bit but then it, it sorts itself out so it, it automatically adjusts to your uh, native resolution after you uh, reboot so I'm just going to log in just show you the performance of it again I've got 3 gigabytes of RAM assigned to this virtual machine sorry if I'm going on a bit I'm just waiting for it to just log in And here we go. See, we have all of the Windows Aero niceness. So yeah, so this is basically how you install Windows 7. It's pretty easy, to be honest. Um, the Parallels Wizard does make it a lot easier for you. But um, please rate, comment, subscribe, and if you like this video, just please give it a thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Um, and I will see you in the next video.